Good morning, everyone, on this foggy Saturday morning. Smoking my K Woody. Thank you, Mark, at TPI. Some Dan's Blend. Was up early this morning, was up around 5. Tossed and turned all night. Got out of bed about 5.30. And a coffee. Black, of course. Get your bearded Welshman mugs. Link will be in the description box below. I still have some tobacco trays slash cutting boards. But, the special has ended. Still $10. I'll leave the $10 price mark on it, but no longer free shipping. So you would have to pay for shipping. Um, just email me at johnbeardedwelshman at gmail.com. I can give you an estimate on what it would cost in shipping. It depends on where it's going in the United States. So I would do an estimated calculation and then I would go and give you a I would give you the price based on the estimation and I would suck up the remainder of the shipping cost. No big deal. Because it's different to where you mail it to. But they won't get to before Christmas, so don't plan on that. Hey, we've hit 1,100 subscribers. Thank you very much. I'm up. 55 plus subscribers in the last 28 days. That's amazing. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, I no longer get alerted as to who subscribes to my, who is the new subscribers to my channel. It used to tell you who is now subscribed to your channel. They no longer tell you that. They no longer give you that information. So, thank you. I don't know who you are, but thank you. So I was down in the wood shop. I'm feeling pretty good. Was down there the day before working on a project for a little while. And then yesterday I went down and finished up some cobs. I custom customized some of my cobs, sanded them down, stained them up, glossed them over. And I'm waiting for my stems to get in. So Hopefully, um, they will they won't take forever like everything else is right now. Crazy week. Crazy week. Effective today, Pennsylvania is in another lockdown. Three weeks. Thank you, goofball Governor Wolf. You're destroying families livelihoods the small businesses and the majority of the small businesses so far in Pennsylvania told them to basically go stick it is what they're doing um, and I don't blame them restaurants businesses are to operate at 50 percent capacity um, restaurants no dining in uh, amongst other restrictions and they could lose their licenses and everything else but with, with as many as are going to defy this restriction, this edict that this tier, this tyrant is putting forth in Pennsylvania, amongst other states that are doing it. I think you'll see that people are done. They're tired of it. They're sick of it. Um, they're losing... They're losing their homes, they're losing their businesses, they're losing, it's, it's just, well, you're getting political, BW. Well, you know what? It is my channel. And why does everything have to be political? Hmm? We're not talking politics. We're talking people. We're talking lives. Suicide rates are up. Drug use is up. Drug abuse, alcohol abuse, domestic abuse, 
Um, for what? A 99.9 or 8 success rate recovery? It's a freaking joke. That's my view on it, anyway. You don't have to agree with me. You know, some of you will probably make comments. Well, studies show. You can show me studies. I can show you studies. You can show me more studies. I can show you more studies. We can go back and forth all day long. At the end of the day, here's the deal. People are suffering. Yeah, people are getting sick. Yeah, it happens. People die from the flu. People die from pneumonia. Livelihoods are being lost. People are suffering. Oh, we got to come up with a solution. No, the government doesn't need to come up with any solution. I'm a man of faith, and in in biblical, in the Bible, you know what you did with the sick is you quarantine them. When you're sick, what do you do? You stay home. You quarantine. You stay away from people because you're sick until you get better. They've been telling us for years. Well, if you get the flu and you're sick, stay home. Why? Because the flu is kills people. That's why I tell you if you have the flu, stay home so it doesn't spread. And it still kills hundreds of thousands of people in the United States. Why? You're not going to stop it. It's like the common cold. You can't stop. There's no cure for the common cold. And some synthetic drug that some pharmaceutical company makes and says, we'll beat this. We'll defeat that. It's all about the Benjamins, folks. It's all about the Benjamins. The government needs to fix this. The government needs to fix that. The government needs to do this. The government needs to do that. When has the government ever done anything successful? Just look at the post office. What a bleeding taxpayer's failure it is. It's nothing's government funded, it's people funded. And then we got this tragedy of, a, of an election. You know, let it all be sorted out. Let it all be sorted out. I don't know. This video might be pulled off of YouTube. I don't know. Well, the Supreme Court shot it down. It's over. No, it ain't over. I'm married to a lawyer. You have appeals and appeals and appeals and appeals and appeals. And it'll keep appealing until it can't appeal no more. And it'll go on and go on and go on and go on. there was issues with it let's figure this out let's find it out let's expose it and let's not let it happen again let's let freedom ring let's let this country be free but I'll tell you right now folks here's the problem we've turned our backs on God we've removed him from society or tried to number one every great nation <laughs> that has ever been that has dishonored God who created all things nothing that was created was not made was not not made by him he ordains those in authority over us Jesus said to Pilate no authority the authority you have has been given to you by God every great nation that has defied God has fell has stumbled and has completely been broken up and is no longer a great powerful nation. Rome, Greece, England, France. And coming soon, the United States, if we don't turn back. That's where I stand on it. But, I will go on living my life, not in fear, but in freedom.
and do like that serenity prayer is it's such a good it's a good prayer i you know i you know i'm change the things i can except the things i cannot change if it doesn't change and it doesn't go the way i want it i'll accept it we will endure Anyhow, I could go on for 20 minutes, but I'm not going to. But I just want to say, God bless, God loves you, I love you. Light them up.